All right, hi. How's it going, Mr. Dino? How are you doing today? Oh, you know, I'm sticking in there, trying not to go stir crazy, being holed up. Yep, absolutely. You staying safe, staying healthy? I am doing my best, you know. Uh, yeah, I mean, as much as you can be, right? Well, I'm Christian Cunningham. I'm from State Farm, and today I just wanted to talk to you a little bit, ask you a few questions, kind of understand what your operation is like, who your current provider of insurance is, and then tell you what kind of options we have at State Farm to help you better your business. Does that sound wonderful to you? Yeah, no, perfect. All right, sounds good. So how about you start off telling me a, a little bit about 84 Lumber, if you would. Um, So we're just a lumber company. We dish out to different, um, mostly contractors, but sometimes you're kind of do-it-yourselfer. Most of our, I guess, kind of insurance issues might come in our lumber yard where we're actually doing with all the lumber. Um, we got about 15 staff employees out there responsible for forking around bunks of lumber, moving stuff around, you know, getting into big flatbeds or um, contractor trucks. So stuff along those lines. Absolutely. All right. So what are uh, some, of, some of 84 Lumber's goals down the line in maybe five years? Um, so for our store specifically, we've been trying to reach um, 2 million in sales for a while now. And that's over a yearly span. So seeing that happen um, above, that's before all expenses and whatnot, obviously. But just reaching that number would be a great milestone for us because we've come pretty close for the past couple of years, but we're right on the cusp. So that's been a, a big store-wide goal for a while now. All right. Awesome. That sounds awesome. So what, what would you say some things are stopping you? I mean, obviously, in today's times with this coronavirus, yeah, I'm sure that's got to be a big hit for you. But what do you think some other uh, issues are you guys currently have? Um, so being that most of our product being natural and the price fluctuates, it's kind of hard to, I guess, forecast what next month's lumber price is going to be. So we really just have to play it by ear and adjusting that. And then we have guests that come in that are mad. Oh, this two by four was two bucks yesterday or two, two bucks last month. Now it's two fifty or something. So I guess trying to stay ahead of the curve in that regard. And then also, um, just keeping it safe around, Working with all the wood isn't necessarily hard, but accidents do arise. And when that does, it's a strain on the company and it puts workers out of commission for a while. So keeping those to a low would be, I guess, also beneficial. Right. Absolutely. So uh, who would you guys say your current uh, insurance provider is right now? Uh, we deal with Allstate currently. All right. So how's everything going with Allstate? Um, you know, I mean... For what we need them for and how often, it's not too horrible. Um, we usually get claims settled relatively quickly. They can take a little bit of time. But for the most part, everything's good. Um, just wish they had, a, I guess, slightly better customer service, more availability, because being there, stores open pretty wide hours. Um, having someone available, I mean, if it's closing time and someone gets hurt, it kind of sucks for us. We have to wait till the next day. So just having someone available 24-7 would be something to look for. Absolutely. So what, what would you say some things you like about Allstate? What are some things they do that you love? Um, they've settled all of our claims and they usually do it in a pretty um, proper manner. We don't have to fight with them or anything. They're usually pretty understanding of our situation. So that'd be something I would um, like with them. And I mean, overall, the customer service isn't horrible. It's just more of the timeliness of it. Absolutely. I understand. Um, so how, how often would you guys say you meet your deductible with Allstate? Um, I don't know. I can't remember the last time we did. Honestly, it's been a while. Maybe a couple of years. Okay. So, how often would you say accidents are uh, on the job site uh, at eighty-four? Um, it can all depend. I mean, I would say if I have to average it out, it'd be maybe once a month, and that's accidents overall. Some are obviously more severe than others, but I mean, when you're moving the quantity of lumber at the speed you we are. Um, accidents tend to happen. I mean, you, the lumber yard's pretty crazy going out there. Uh, with people going back and forth on forklifts, loading up lumber, bunks, whatever you, our guest needs. So I would say, yeah, if I'd average it out, probably about once a, uh, once a month. All right. So 12 a year sounds about right to you? Yeah, yeah, roughly. All right. And then how often would you say that these accidents usually end up in a hospital visit? Um... I would say if we were averaging around 12 a year, maybe three or four were hospital worthy. Okay. Um, we give our employees the option. We 
will pay for accidents, assuming that our employees pass a drug test and it can be proven that there wasn't any other reason why they had the accident. So most employees tend not to go, but if it's serious enough, then we'll definitely make that call when we get there. Absolutely. So um, when, when was your last accident, would you say? Uh, about a month and a half ago, one of our yard workers actually um, had a couple pieces of lumber fall on his foot from a bunk that kind of got unbanded a little too prematurely mm-hmm. and uh, didn't end in a hospital visit, luckily, but he did sustain a couple um, bruises um, on his foot. Okay. So then how much, uh, so you said one of your things was timeliness, was one of your issues with Allstate. Uh, how much extra time would you say you have to spend dealing with Allstate when some of your workers do end up having to go to the hospital? Um, so just their process takes a long time to fill out everything. So I would say, I mean, for each claim that we have to probe, uh, probe to them, it takes maybe about two to three hours to, I guess, ultimately culminate and finish. So that's three hours of my time where I have to deal with this every time it happens. Right. Okay. See, so here at uh, State Farm, we just want to let you know that we're 24 seven office. We're very committed to uh, making sure our customers and our clients are always happy. We actually won a JD power award last year for number one customer service in a uh, health insurance game. So let's, let's just take a look at some of your numbers here, right? You say it takes approximately two or three hours. We'll say three, just for the sake of making us look good. right, Mister? Hey, yeah. <laughs> and you say you have about th- three or four hospital visits a year. So, Three hours uh, for four hospital visits a year. You know, that's an extra 12 hours. That's a day and a half of being on the job site working eight hour days that uh, you have, you yourself have to uh, spend uh, settling things with all state. And I imagine uh, if you're t- working with me, managing purchasing decisions, I would assume that you're also having to control and make sure everything is going proper on the job site, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So there's it's an extra day and a half of your time that you can be monitoring or you can be making sure things are getting done properly, right? So like I said, we're a 24 seven agency here. We can handle your claims any time of day, right? And so we're we're, we're here whenever you guys are. And so that's what I want to talk to you about is is some of the features that uh, State Farm can give to you guys. Excuse me. Uh, You know, we have not only are we a company that works when you do, right? 24 seven, you know, uh, you guys are a smaller company now, and if so, I'm assuming you guys are planning on growing from just 15 people, uh, larger, and making more money than making $2 million a year. So uh, branching out to as many places as you probably can. State Farm will be there whenever you guys are, no matter the time zone, no matter if it's at 2 o'clock in the morning or 1 p.m. in the afternoon. We're always there for you. Awesome. The other thing is, is we, we uh, are all about reasonable prices. You said you haven't met your deductible uh, in the last few years, and most times that means you're overpaying for insurance. Uh, having only 15 employees, we have a number of policies, anything that you guys might need, all at a price that uh, may, ensures that you guys aren't spending any more than you want, and you guys are getting the coverage that you do need. And like I said, we have numerous, uh, numerous insurance policy options. So not only can we insure your employees to make sure that they are healthy, uh, you're healthy and you have the peace of mind that they're going to get back to work on time, but we can even ensure building your, your building, any equipment, machinery, you know, forklifts, trucks, anything like that. And it can be tailored to any sort of needs 84 lumber has. So nice. I would love to, uh, sit down with you again. I got a ton of great information here. You know, I'd love to sit down with you again, review some of this and, uh, you know, kind of come up with a plan, maybe go from there. And uh, see what we can, what what else State Farm can do for eighty four lumber. How does that sound to you? Oh, it sounds perfect. Um, when would you be free? Uh, Friday, next Friday at noon. We can maybe have a virtual lunch and hang out. <laughs> that sounds perfect. All right. Thank you so much, Mister Dino. Have a good rest of your afternoon and stay healthy, stay safe. Yep. All right. You too. All right.